what the majority is of, of the opinion. It is doing what is right. And what is right is to take the process of Mombasa County to the scrutiny of the elections court or to the scrutiny of the petitions court. If we don't know how someone is stealing, then what is the, what is the use of running in the next election? That was the philosophy even of what NASA had set itself to achieve. If you don't know how someone is stealing, how then do you run in the next election? I remember, and I could bear witness, that on the 9th of August, as the results started to trickle in, I received a phone call from NASA IT department, one Edwin Wonga. And he can bear witness and testimony to this, telling us one of the highest levels of tampering with respect to the election was in Mombasa. And Raila Odinga himself, on his first press conference on the 9th of August of that, same, of that, of that same, very same day, highlighted Mombasa as a place where there were massive discrepancies. If those of you have memory, you would recall how 22 days later, I mean, how on the 22nd, he will give a clean bill of health to the same election process in Mombasa and yet won the Supreme Court and won everybody else is the highest level of sanitization of wrongs as long as they are coming from your side. You do not sanitize wrongs just because they come from your side. When your kid beats other kids, tell him he's wrong. When your kid is the one stealing, before he's caught by somebody else, punish him. You go, so you protect a whole system of connivance against others, to prejudice others. If you look at it very carefully, those of you who recall, I will never forget the 5th of August, where the highest level of immaturity was demonstrated by some of the candidates by trying to deny me access to a presidential platform. Poor Kalonzo shouting, order. You don't shout order. You take leadership. They thought it was OK. The whole world sympathized. The whole world gave me a feedback. That, when you, when, when the only reason Joho could have done that is appreciation that Raila condones that type of politics. It is appreciation that violence pays, that impunity is not punished in this country. Nonetheless, we went into the election, and I feel that um, the election outcome, as much as I was in the initial onset, one of those who was set to accept the outcome, I want to appreciate the evidence that came to us ultimately. And if nobody else had the courage to take up this matter, I have the courage. You know, they say sometimes you, f you live to fight another day. Sometimes you live to fight now. And that's what I have decided to do. I will challenge this process. We have challenged this process. We have some of the best lawyers who are going to prosecute this matter. And one of our prayers this time is that those who are found culpable must be punished for criminal offenses. There has been too much theft in the election and the subversion of this process in this county for too long. And in our petition, for those who might have read it online, it avers too many, a, a number of other grounds. Abuse of public resources, state officers taking part in an election, among other issues that I, I, I spoke to within the petition, including uh, education that uh, the, the current governor does not qualify to hold that position, even if he subverts the process of illegality through the, through the courts, ultimately time will catch up with him. So for me, as a conscious call, it is only imperative. You know, I hear the Joho followership asking, how does the number three go to court? It's not about the number three, it's just that the number one is not deserving. It's not also about the number, number, four, number three, or the 40,000 plus, 40, plus votes that I have, 44,000. Even a voter on his own accord can decide to petition a process that they think is not free and fair. So on behalf of those people who have courage, and I think for us 
our struggle is a is a continuous effort. It's a 